This PC has a Pentium 4 and 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, but the GPU is a 1999 uh, ATI Rage 128 Pro, which supports DirectX 6 and OpenGL 1.2. Could have sworn the minimum requirement for um, Half-Life 2 was DirectX 7, but for some reason it runs on here. And it even sets the model detail to medium by default. I was thinking maybe I could set it to low to claw back some frame rate, but uh, every time I change a setting, the game just crashes. So I'm just going to leave it at the default, which is already everything is low, no anti-aliasing, except for the model detail, which is medium. There we go. Yeah, for some reason the skybox doesn't render. Oh, fuck. Shit. Is it good enough? CL, so show FPS 2. Uh, so right now we're getting 17 frames per second. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. I'm gonna stick with it. Oh, we're already in. What the fuck? Oh god. This is not running well at all. Stuff that far from me, you can see it's popping in that close, what the hell. I don't think this graphics card is... I don't think Half-Life 2 is supposed to be running on here at all, but... I mean, for like physics and ragdolls, like, that should be fine, because... That does not look right at all, what the fuck. But, okay, I think that's the cube maps. Imagine getting Half-Life 2, you open it up, you're really excited to play on it, this is just what you get. I am having some trouble seeing what I'm doing. There's weird lighting bugs. See what the loading times are like. Although I have this installed on an SSD, this uh it's gone. I wasn't even looking at the screen when I finished. Okay, old engine. Okay, now the skybox is kinda working. I mean, the 3D skybox stuff works, but like, I don't know what's going on with this. It looks like sometimes part of it has the right texture. Let's see, is this this version of Half-Life 2? Oh, yes it is. Hell yeah. Speedrunning Half-Life 2 on the fucking ATI Rage. Rage, in case you don't know, so Radeon the name has been around quite a while, I would say. Um, and in case you don't know for the context of how old this card is, Rage is what they had before Radeon. Like when the first Radeon came out, they were they stopped using the Rage name. I believe this card has like 16 megabytes of video memory, which would probably explain why there's so much pop in. Barely functional flashlight, nice. I haven't had any graphical glitches yet in this level. It's the best looking skybox we have yet. Oh, I spoke too soon. Off that frame rate too. And graphical glitches.
at least the explosion barrels don't have a draw distance or have a much further one. Let's see, flashlight is on. All it does is barely works on props, doesn't work on the environment at all. This is so weird. Hasn't crashed though. Oh, what does the water look like? It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, if I look up the wall, this gets way faster. So when you have like a long view distance, like. Oh, I can't even imagine what the coastal levels would be like on this thing. Let's try... Oh, it's not even a surprise with this because the boxes haven't loaded in yet. Normally they'll like uh, break through all these boxes here and you don't see them coming. Because like when you're into it, like the graphical glitches are like, yeah, that's pretty bad, but like the frame rate, like you get like 30, 40 FPS, that's not so bad. Indoors, when you get longer vantage points, and even just like down a long hallway, it gets pretty bad. So I just can't even imagine what it's going to be like in those big open driving sections coming up. It brings the game to such a low detail that it doesn't even matter that much. This is so weird. I've never seen anything like this before. Well down. Maybe, maybe it would help out if we did a... Uh, I'm curious. Would this help anything? I mean, because like, if this reduces the amount of those rainbow like glitches, I think it's worth it. But I'm gonna leave it off so I can play how the game was designed. Like actually undrivable. Like I have, I, I can't control this at all. Holy shit! This is so bad. I'm just gonna ditch the car. I'm not even going that fast because it's hard to time it with such a low frame rate. But it's just like the car is too uncontrollable. I want to try something else. Let's quit out of half life two. Open Counter Strike Source. Now, I won't be able to play online obviously because this is like the launch version. But we can run the video stress test and see how well it performs. Oh 
already, like, these are all supposed to be, like, shaders, not even working. or like those like weird rainbow glitch yet though. Oh, I spoke too soon. An average of 21 FPS. It sure as hell didn't look like that. I don't think we need to upload this since the middle. Well that was certainly interesting. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to edit this.